Bernie Sanders got asked about the fact that one of his allies or former allies, uh, Dr. Cornell West, is running for president within the Green Party. Not a candidacy I support. And Bernie Sanders nicely points out why um, and points out what the progressive movement should be doing when it comes to this upcoming 2024 presidential election. And uh, if you're not familiar, Dr. Cornell West is a progressive scholar and activist and he is running in the green party and has criticized bernie sanders for endorsing joe biden in this election but bernie sanders will answer to that fact here senator sanders cornell west who is a close ally of yours he is running a third party campaign for president he recently criticized you for endorsing president biden's re-election listen to what he said I love the brother, and, and, and you know, you, even in love, people have deep disagreements about these things. But I think, again, he's, he's fearful of the neo-fascism of Trump. People look at Biden, they don't really want to tell the full truth. He's created the best economy that we can get. Is this the best that we can get? You're going to tell that lie to the people? Mm -hmm. Just I went and looked at the full clip, just in case you're curious. It sounds like Cornell West is maybe more broadly talking about what people say about Biden, not necessarily Bernie Sanders. But if he's trying to accuse Bernie Sanders of saying that Biden has created the best economy possible and then accusing him of lying when it comes to that, that is a lie on the part of Cornell West. That is extremely dishonest. Bernie Sanders would never say that. We can give credit where it's due. We've seen an incredibly strong economic recovery, way better than expected. And Biden has, is of course, not fully responsible for that, broad economic variables, but has led on some necessary policies that have contributed to that fact and give credit and then understand and a lot more to do. I really don't like that Cornel West framed it that way. For Biden to win? What's your reaction to that? Well, my reaction is that it certainly is not the best economy that we can create. That was what my speech was about yesterday. We've got to join the rest of the industrialized world, guarantee health care at all. We've got to cut the cost of prescription drugs uh, in half. We've got to raise the minimum wage to at least 17 bucks an hour. We've got to build the affordable housing we desperately need. But where I disagree with my good friend, uh, Cornell West, is I think in these really very difficult times where there is a real question whether democracy is going to remain in the United States of America. You know, Donald Trump is not somebody who believes in, in democracy, whether women are going to be able to continue to control their own bodies, uh, whether we have social justice in America, we end bigotry. Around that, I think we have got to bring the entire progressive community uh, to defeat Trump or whoever the Republican nominee will be support Biden, but at the same time, which is what I did yesterday, is demand that the Democratic Party, not just Biden, have the guts to take on corporate greed and the massive levels of income and wealth inequality that we see today. Yeah, that's exactly it. We talked about a bunch in the last segment, this moment being so crucial for so many reasons, especially as he pointed out, when it comes to democracy, when it comes to fighting back against what is becoming a pretty, excuse me, clear authoritarian movement, and also protecting basic rights as he was listing, and then continuing the agenda that Bernie Sanders has impacted pretty significantly of Biden and Democrats to implement progressive policies to benefit the lives of people. And we've seen some of that, the American Rescue Plan, the Infrastructure Law, the Inflation Reduction Act, and not far enough. So let's continue um, on that journey and stay hard at work. But we're not going to be able to implement any of those policies if we lose in 2024. We're not going to be able to solve the problems facing people with progressive policies if the authoritarian anti-democratic candidate ends up winning because Cornel West is to the left of the Democratic Party. That means people who might vote for the Democratic Party may side with the Green Party. 
and vote for Cornell West. He's not running within the Democratic primary. He's running as a Green Party candidate, meaning if he stays in the race on the ballot in certain states, the Green Party doesn't have access in all states. But in the states where they do, you would have Trump or whoever the nominee is, seems like it's going to be Trump, Biden, and Cornell West, and maybe some others. But Cornell West could siphon away some necessary votes that Biden could have gotten from some of these more progressive voters. And as we approach, I'll get more stark and and uh, passionate in my language to motivate any viewers in my audience to vote correctly when it comes to um, this election and make sure we do vote in the strongest way against Donald Trump or the Republican candidate, which is Joe Biden. And Biden's running. That's just the reality. He is. He's decided to run. He's running. He's the incumbent president. So it is so in this political structure we have so near impossible to unseat as the nominee a sitting incumbent president from their party's nomination and that combined with the fact that there is a pretty impressive record there when it comes to biden far from everything that we would want it to be but definitely still impressive and he's shown the ability to go in a progressive direction with certain policies and uh then we have to fight back against the obstruction even despite that fact from mansion and cinema and others but there could be a lot i guess is my point done in a second biden term and so that combined with the fact that he's going to be the nominee since he chose to run then our uh, support and our weight and our advocacy really is best spent, I think, there. And definitely, once you get away from the Democratic Party conversation, any third party in this moment is extremely dangerous. Again, because of the stakes as Bernie Sanders, one of the most notable progressives in this modern era, aptly pointed out. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership, and there's a link in the description.